Hey guys, what's up? This is Brett. Welcome to this week's episode of Friday on the Turntable. Before I get started, I'd like to just to give a quick thank you to everyone who participated in sharing your memories uh, after last week's video on the 25th anniversary of The Cure's Disintegration. I enjoyed reading all of your comments, so thank you. So today, a little bit of a detour. I'm going to be featuring a book instead of a record today, uh, and this is Barbed Wire Kisses, the story of the Jesus and Mary Chain, the uh, great Scottish band, written by Zoe Howie on the Polygon imprint. Uh, this, for those of you guys in the UK, you may have overlooked the release of this because it came out on Record Store Day as part of the Record Store Day releases, but while you guys may have been frantically trying to search for those limited vinyl pressings, you may have walked right past this cover. So this did come out back on April 19th in the UK, so uh, if you're watching it and you're like, how could I miss that, um, head back over to your store, there may be some copies still on the rack. If not, you can definitely order it. So in the US and elsewhere, this is gonna be coming out on May 19th. I'm gonna have a link down in the description box that takes you over to my blog, uh, and it's linked up through Amazon there, so if you'd like to order it, uh, please go through that link. And for those of you guys new to the Jesus and Mary chain, I'm also gonna put a, uh, I'm gonna embed a playlist to Spotify of 10 recommended tracks from the Jesus and Mary chain, just so you can get an idea of the band that I'm discussing here today. I love reading, I have my de college degree in English, and music biographies and anything related to music, even if I don't know the band, um, I still really enjoy reading it. But I obviously do know a lot about Jesus and Mary Chain. I've been uh, a long time listening to them. I actually saw them back in 1992 when they performed uh, on the second Lollapalooza tour. Um, so this was put out, as I said, on the Polygon label and 306 pages. There's a section of black and white photographs in the middle. It's got a chronology in the back, little bios on everyone who was involved, who was interviewed for the book, discography and uh, credits, etc. cetera. Um, so Jesus and Mary Chain, Barbed Wire Kisses, the, obviously the title of the book is named after the, uh, the compilation uh, behind me here that references a lyric in one of their songs. So all the major players in, in the Jesus and Mary Chain story are represented bar one uh, that would be William Reed, the other half of the Reed brothers that formed the, the Jesus and Mary chain. But you got Alan McGee, who uh, signed the band, started Creation Records. You have Bobby Gillespie, the uh, drummer in their early years, went on to form Primal Scream, original bass player Douglas Hart, uh, and extensive um, interviews with uh, brother Jim Reed. Um, William Reed declined to be involved in it, but even with even with with his absence the story is so well put together and so he did a great job from all angles putting the whole story back together uh, starting back with the band's beginnings in uh, East Kilbride Scotland two brothers you know in a bedroom it, it, it parallels uh, my own story with my own brother and forming our own band Audra and writing songs together in our bedroom um, you know, it chronicles their kind of antisocial behavior. Uh, two brothers obsessed with movies and TV and books. It, it tracks their early years of their, you know, live shows, their raucous, you know, short shows that were notorious for being uh, stage raided and shut down after 20 minutes. And uh, tracks all of their six albums, the making of, the touring the breakup and then the resurrection back in uh, in the 2000s. Um, what's really interesting about the book is because, you know, it's not too far into the past where there still is, is physical documentation and video documentation of a lot of the events that uh, that are chronicled in here. So I found that, uh, you know, when when uh, Zoe would would talk about a TV show appearance of theirs and how the band was severely intoxicated on the show, you know, I would just stop reading and I would br I'd bring up YouTube and I would just search for that and lo and behold you can actually just follow along and watch these uh, these clips of them that they're that are being discussed in the book so you know you can get really interactive with the you know with YouTube and, and seeing the various videos and how things went down and hearing about them behind the scenes and then seeing what what we as an audience experience I find that just a really fascinating um, experience and despite all their notorious drunkenness which which is you know always chronicled and, and discussed in, in in lengths in the book you know it, it was always about the music and uh, two brothers love for creating and writing music and and two brothers who f who wanted to be pop stars but really didn't want what came with it 
uh, like I said before, just kind of a real antisocial. So, you know, they wanted their music to be successful. They wanted to be as big as the Beatles, but they didn't really want the trappings of having to do interviews and do all this other kinds of stuff that was involved with the quote unquote celebrity lifestyle. Uh, uh, some humorous moments in the book. One of, one of the things I really found was there, there, these three random encounters that happened uh, with the band and Paul Weller from the Jam and the Style Counselor, and one of them being really humorous, where uh, Paul Paul Weller gave some, uh, I guess, unwanted advice uh, to to the um, to Jim on how to hold a microphone so it doesn't feed back, and so that obviously didn't didn't sit well with the. Uh, with with the band um you know i've i've read a lot of music biographies and some of them i walk away feeling kind of exhausted by the subject matter by the artist where i just almost have a whole different perception and it's not always positive and i kind of walk away feeling a little weird but i got i have to say about about uh, barbed wire kisses is the book really gave me another level of understanding of the band because these the the brothers in the band you know they're they're pretty shrouded i would say in mystery and when you um kind of the, the layers are removed a bit more i realize that i i like them even more after reading the book and uh, zoe does a fantastic job of kind of un unveiling them and uh and a lot of that through the eyes of, of jim reed and really hearing their story and those of the you know those that surrounded the band and another little funny thing about about the band is how well f a lot of people who just go see shows they have a perception that the backstage area is all this thing where there's these big parties going on and granted there that does that does occur but uh, it, the Jesus and Mary chain it's funny because all this chaos that was going on on stage everyone expected that once you went backstage everyone wanted to hang out with the band because they were so wild and crazy but uh, it's it's said within the book that if you want if you really want if you ended up backstage at um, uh, a Jesus and Mary Chain show and in the band's uh, uh, dressing room, basically you would be uh, hit with the band just sitting there on the couch, not talking and waiting to go home so they could just go watch TV, which I found funny and kind of sums this up. Uh, just kind of the almost anti rock and roll that the band was. So guys, uh, I can't recommend it enough. I really love this. I read it so quickly because I honestly just could not put it down. And uh, yeah, so that's some high praise here. So Zoe House, Barbed Wire Kisses, Jesus Mary Chain Story. Uh, it'll be out on May 19th, but you can pre-order it or order it at the link down below in the description box. And as I said earlier, if you're new to the Jesus Mary Chain or if you just want to check out a playlist of mine, I picked out 10 songs from their catalog that uh, I think you should check out. So thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon.